Hello, and welcome back to What's in the Pot Wednesday Baking Edition with Tiny Puffer Fish. Today we're just going to do what started my whole little interest in baking. Cookie. And I need to fix that. So. Why am I interested in baking? Good question. But first, let me kind of scoot you guys closer so you can actually see what's in the mixer. I said, what's in the mixer? I can't see. There you go. We've already... I'll tell the story when I'm not concentrating on ingredients, if that's okay. So, to start off, we have one cup of brown sugar in here. And we're putting one cup of butter or two sticks. I actually I have one cup of baking sticks because they were tired of me using up all the butter. Which is now funny because we have a, like 16 sticks of butter. And we keep buying butter because they keep forgetting about the 16 sticks. Yeah, I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out, Mom. Anyways. So we got our brown sugar, our butter. We need half a cup of sugar and I just splashed something all over myself. Okay. This is basically the uh, quote unquote wet ingredients of the cookies. You gotta cream the brown sugar with the butter and the other sugar to give it that initial color. And because flour, baking soda, and salt will affect the, I keep forgetting what it's called, but basically if you mix in the flour and all that too early, you're going to end up with some lumpy, lumpy cookies. So we got half a cup of sugar, and we're just going to Knock that in place and let it cream. Now, as this creams, I'm going to get the flour ready. So we have our brown sugar, our sugar, and butter creamed. Now we need to add in a tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons, I mean, not two. Forget the tablespoon. I misread. Teaspoons. If I, it's teaspoons. You don't, I will in, in really screw up the recipe if you use tablespoons. Yeah, we need, if I can find it, a teaspoon and, still trying to find it, where is it? 
Where's the half teaspoon? Oh, a quarter teaspoon. I can always just turn it into a half. Okay. You're going to want to take one teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of vanilla and just dump it in here. I guess I should start with part of the reason why I like baking is because hmm, I'm trying to get the words. It's like an exact science that will always turn out good in the end. There's little room for alterations because you might end up making a completely different dessert or just failing miserably. So you kind of have to strive for perfection in measuring ingredients, which is why sometimes I'd be like, no, and bleh. Why sometimes I say ingredient measurements in previous what's in the pots because I'm so used to baking where you need to be exact instead of normal cooking where you can flavor and season how much you want. And I'm going to apologize in video for that. Because in post, those mommy websites always tell you to season too little. You need to give kids a fucking flavor. A flavor backbone. There's never something called too much garlic. Unless you're a vampire or you actually somehow put too much garlic in there. Okay. You got your salt, vanilla in there. Now you need two eggs. Eggshell. It's been a long time since I actually got eggshell in cookies. And of course it would be when I'm recording that I got eggshells in cookies. <laughs> okay, so that's one egg. Let's hope the other one isn't as shelly. We're gonna let that cream again while we prepare the flour mixture. speed afterwards. So for this little two cups of flour or so you have your don't throw your table your teaspoons. Half teaspoon baking soda. Let's get a little bit so that air gets in the flour and baking soda. You might be asking what's the point to this if it's going to be mixed in here. I don't know the point either, but somehow it just makes it more fluffy. Because of the air getting incorporated, incorporated into the flour. Okay. 
put that on a, don't put it on a higher speed. But also push the, the dough. it so you can scrape down the edges if you need to. Resume. Turn on higher so you can give it a few seconds. Okay, we have a dough. Now you can kind of skip this part, I'm, but I'm going to divide the stone in half because we're making two types of cookies today and I don't have enough brown sugar to make a full second batch. We're going to be making Heath and white chocolate mixed with some chocolate. Now the reason, another reason why I'm making kind of two different cookies today, mom likes Heath. Me, I cannot stand Heath. I just don't like the taste of toffee. And if you have a problem with that, then there's the door. Or there is another video down below where you can Gonna move along and not hear my trash opinion. I don't know my opinion is trash. Oh. Oh. Also, very important, preheat the oven to 350. Ow. Almost forgot about that. So now I'm just making. What the? Wait. Picking here to make sure everything's mixed in. Well, the oven's preheating. I'm gonna just let this mix for a few more minutes before actually splitting it in half. Take this time to clean up as you move. Wait for this to. Put stuff back where they belong. a smooth dough. Ow. There we go. Now mine is still a little bit of flour. This counter is actually clean as I cleaned it right before starting the video. skip ahead if you want to or if you want to actually watch me 
we need this a little bit. Making sure all of it is out of the bowl because every tiny piece of dough counts. Okay. And yes, my hands are totally clean. Okay. Hi, Toby. So now that it looks a bit like green, I'm going to grab the other knife. and divide it. That's not a green bowl. Uh, let's just put you right here. Now when I do yeah, what's the word? Words. When I make cookies like this since I'm basically already have it out of the bowl, I just hand mix in what kind of cookies they are. Like kind of. Oh, you can't even see. Now you can. Yeah, kind of make it into a bowl. And close it. Squish. Okay. Turn, squish, turn, squish, turn, squish. That's kind of how I learned to hand knead stuff into the dough. Fold, squish, turn. I'm not even sure if this is the correct way to knead, but it's how I've been doing this. And eventually... Sorry, I'm just being reminded of playing with Play-Doh. Boom. You have cookie dough ready. Well, he's cookie dough ready. So now... I kind of forgot to prep this earlier, but I'm now grabbing a cookie sheet. Off camera. With some parchment paper. We have already pre-cut sheets. Going to start. Where is it? You're basically going to start forming the ball. Basically, just portioning this out using those cookie dough scoops. I don't know where we got this. And for some reason, Siri is going off, and I don't need her to. 
Siri, shut up and leave me alone. That actually worked. You didn't hear that because she's in my ear. And we're just going to... Scoop, press, squeeze. Scoop, press, squeeze. Until there's 12 on the... On the cookie sheet. Sorry, I'm kind of out of there, I guess. And I'm hoping these turn out good because, admittedly, Mike, not ugh, my brown sugar was dry as a rock. So I kind of broke it up with my hands, and hopefully this works. And if not, oh well. Show that I still have some things to learn, I guess. Okay. Boom. 12. Move you back so I can put them in the oven. Hey Siri. Set a timer for nine minutes. Okay. As you just heard me out to my phone, you put these in the oven for nine minutes. Now we're going to go back over here. We still have this amount of heath cookie left. So it's going to sit right there. While I make the white chocolate. and tell you how I got into baking. As I try to get these on. Okay. How did Tiny Puffer Fish begin to like baking? Well, it all started with Jonathan. He went to culinary school. I don't know if you guys know about that. I don't I don't really know what she shared with y'all, but yeah, Jonathan has, from what I remember, a degree in, from culinary school. Does he use it? Uh, well, he's, I think, a manager at Little Caesars, so you tell me. <sighs> But when he was getting his degree, it was Thanksgiving. And he was making a large Thanksgiving dinner for this family. And we invited... Wait, was it Thanksgiving? Or was it Easter? It was either of those holidays. I can't really remember. But what I do remember is him asking if I wanted to help by making a dessert. So I was like, sure. And so we were in a very tiny, tiny kitchen that was somehow even tinier than this. It was like a hallway. That's how small it was. And he handed me a recipe book and said, Here, I'll show you how to start it, but we're making cookies. And so I just followed the recipe. Sorry, I kind of went down memory lane for a full second there. I was doing the recipe on a stepladder, even though I'm still the same height from <laughs> back then. I was just sitting on a stepladder, 
Yeah, step ladder. Just <laughs> because everything for the cookies were so high up in the cabinets that I actually had to climb. And I don't really need to do that here, so I'm kind of happy about that. Yeah. It had to have been when Jocelyn and Morgan were f dating. But yeah. I was the one who made cookies that day. And they loved it. So I was like, huh. I guess I'm a good baker. And I know this is kind of random, but I do remember what he was watching in the kitchen off his laptop at the time. Boondocks. <laughs> so I learned how to bake while watching Boondocks. <laughs> and from then on, throughout high school, I just bake randomly for friends because... Admittedly, I did not like, like eating my own creation. To me, it was much better seeing pe other people eat them. Because I was a little self-conscious about my weight. But that didn't take the fun out of baking, thankfully. And Toby is eating something behind me. What you eating? You better not be getting in trouble. <laughs> yeah, Johnson got me into baking and I've been baking ever since. As it's a nice dress weaver. It I don't know how much time is left on the Oh, three minutes. Yeah, like chocolate cookie dough ready. Getting another cookie sheet. And I probably already said this, but since that day, I kind of became the family baker. Which is kind of funny since I wasn't the one studying how to bake stuff. Okay. So yeah, white chocolate cookie dough is ready. And we're just going to finish off the heath. So, this made about 16 cookies. It should be enough for the heath. Now we're just going to separate the white chocolate. Putting four on the cookie sheet so that I won't have to reuse it. And it'll be easy to tell which cookie's which because you have to look for the white chocolate chips. Okay. While waiting for the timer to go off, I'm gonna grab the jar of the heat are going in and the cooling racks. I need to get another one of those so I can actually keep them separate and in correct places instead of storing them in bowls with legs. Yeah. 
Hey guys, if I say it on video, I'll actually get it done. You know? That would be a concept. Ow. Cleaning up a little bit more. Oh, timer's done. I don't have. I don't want your potatoes blocking it. Yeah. Sorry. Let's just wait like 30 seconds. Yeah, the timing of making cookies is a little hard to get right. So, timer for 30 seconds. Oh, you can't even see that. You're looking at my stomach. There we go. Now you can see me kind of clean everything up. Thirty seconds have passed. And here's cheese cookies. As I put in a piece of white chocolate, we're going to let those chill for a bit. Set a timer for 9 minutes 30 seconds. Yeah. Gonna let these chill for about 30 more seconds. While I get the cooling rack set up. And kind of clean everything up. I guess somebody likes to say I don't clean up while I cook. She's probably going to yell at me after watching this video back. You can't even wait, can you? Yeah, you can see it. Okay. So now that these cookies have cooled a little bit. I don't know this was going to be one take. All one clip. They're, they are still a little hot, so be careful when you're placing them on a cooling rack. Sorry for the silence, I'm kind of used to having them watching a show in the background when I baked. Last time I baked cookies, they were watching Blacklist. And it was one of the later seasons before it all kind of went to weird. Like, to the point where you can actually see the
plot twists coming from 10 miles away. Not a mile away, 10 miles. Where it just got too predictable and too focused on not what the show started out to be. That kind of plot twist. Anyway, <laughs> enough of my trash opinion. About shows. And that was back in February, because I was watching Someone Play Zero Escape. Yeah, I guess I should probably warn y'all right now. I tie memories to weird things. Like what people were watching at the time, what I was watching at the time, what games I've been interested at the time, what game was released at the time. That's just how my brain works. And it's kind of nice tying memories to things like that because it actually helps me remember. Oh well. Back to bacon. Right, Toby? Yeah. No, you cannot have this. This will hurt you. This will tear your stomach. This will end you. And yet you're still lagging. And this is still somehow going to be more cookies than he's. Even though I divided a little divided it perfectly in half because the chips in this are bigger than the heath pieces. So in the heath cookies you get more cookie dough and white chocolate you get more well white chocolate. Four minutes left on the timer. But how many more cookies does it make? Well, we're about to see. One more cookie, which I'll kind of split between all the rest, so we actually stick with 16 cookies per type. Time I will finish cleaning up what I used while well, just talking about random nonsense. If that's okay. Or if you want, you can skip ahead to when the white chocolate are done and I can actually eat one. Your choice, I'm not going to judge. And before y'all say I'm self-deprecating, I'm just making jokes. I'm just tired. Because I woke up and decided to film this so Mom would actually have something to upload for what's in the pot. And I'm actually starting to get hungry at the smell of all this. So, two minutes and 40 seconds left on the timer. Gotta come up with a way to entertain you all while you're just staring at cookies. And I just realized I usually put in some cinnamon sugar on this, and I forgot to. Because 
I don't know about y'all, but I need a little more flavor. So yeah, there's that. These are cooled down enough to put in the cookie jar. And before you ask, yes, the inside is clean. It's just the outside that looks dusty. Putting a slice of bread in the jar. That way. Yeah. That way the cookies can stay moist and not dry out and become stale and hard as rocks. Morgan taught me that trick. And honestly, it's a good trick. It works. Just gotta change out the bread when it becomes dry. Ow. Okay, how much longer is left on the timer? 17 seconds. And then I can quickly wrap up this video because I'm sure you don't want to stay another nine minutes watching these cook. Yeah, I know. I know. You're probably already putting me on double speed. <laughs> Honestly, I wonder how that sounds. Can someone let me know? <laughs> okay. Timer is done and I... I accidentally put up the oven mitt. Mm. Um, so yeah. You can tell the difference between the two. And he's just kind of stuck together, but that's alright. Okay. There we go. Just need to transfer these to the cooling rack for after a little bit. In the meantime, I'm still cleaning up. Ow! Somehow hurt myself with a butter knife. I really can't go 24 hours without causing a little accident for myself. I don't even like it. I just want 24 hours where I don't injure myself. But apparently that's too much for me to ask. <laughs> wow, it's really already 1 o'clock. Okay. So how's your day been going? I know it's kind of boring just sitting here looking at cookies, not really watching anything going on. But that's sometimes a lot of what baking is, just sitting and staring at nothing waiting for time to go on. Or listening to music, which I have not been doing this entire time because I know I just get lost in the music and not talk about anything. It is deathly silent here. And I actually don't like that. Like, I need something plain. Just so I don't lose focus. Not lose focus. That way I can count. No, that's. Uh. That way it doesn't feel alone in here. That way I don't have to deal with silence. I'm probably crazy for thinking that way. Or not. 
And I'm just returning for fish. And the ring cookie. Just gonna let these cool for like two minutes. Continue cleaning stuff up. And then we'll end the video. Does that sound like a plan? Actually, let's just do it now. What chocolate chip? So I hope y'all enjoyed. Sorry for the long periods of silence in between me rambling. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys in sitchy time where I should be.